how to make a lot of money in bit what well, wait let me put it this way how to potentially make a lot of money in bitcoin and this is not financial advice don't take financial advice from me but i've learned a couple of things two pretty easy things that if you understand this and take the plunge you can potentially do quite well. First, I want to show you a video from the Lucky We Live Hawaii file from my swim at the beach this morning. Hawaii is so cool and I saw this bird today. Let me just play the video of this show that this bird put on for us. Okay, here we are, early dawn patrol, Alamona Beach Park, and look out of there. What is that, a bird flying by the lagoon? That is a big bird. It's a frigate bird. It's a, called an Eva in Hawaiian. And that is a big Eva. That's like about a five foot wingspan. And the thing is really low, flying over the lagoon, hunting for fish, and it finds one. Oh, it comes up. Yep, it's got a fish. <laughs> Takes off, swallows the fish. No, it's got it in its beak. All right flies right past those guys, right at arm's length. This was a spectacular show. All right, so it was doing these graceful like figure eights. It'd go up, come turn around back down. I think it swallowed the fish, got it in its gullet and it's coming. There are a lot of fish in this lagoon. They're called halalau. They're little fish. The lagoon's full of them. And now the fish's gullet is full of them. He's got another one. Oh man. Swallow that baby down. Yeah, the fishermen are looking on going, hey, we never catch this many fish, brother. Look at the bird. There he is, here he goes, boom. Got another one. He put this show on for like 20 minutes. I was actually in the water swimming and I saw it and I thought, do I have time to go get my iPhone? Ran to my car, grabbed the iPhone, got back for the second half of the show. So here we are doing its little graceful figure eights around the lagoon. So cool to see it, like just a foot off the water, swooping in. It finds the school of fish, then comes up a little higher. It's ready to make its move. Here we go, sees one, and boom! Got another one, dive bomber. Up it goes, I think he dropped that one. All right, let's see one more. Beautiful big bird. Isn't that cool? And off he goes. Up, figure eight, loops around. He was really showing off for us. Boom, another fish. Oop, dropped it. Down the gullet, got it. That was a great show. That was beautiful. All right, Bitcoin. By now, if you've been paying attention you should realize that Bitcoin is not going anywhere. Peter Schiff, um, all the other financial pundits that have been saying, Bitcoin, it's a Ponzi scheme, it's going to zero. They were proved wrong. Bitcoin is not going to zero, not in my lifetime. Bitcoin will continue its ascendant rise. It will be more and more and more valuable. Some people see this as a problem because it is very volatile. It has wild swings. It lurches up and then it falls off the cliff and it, oh my God. That's why it's such a great investment. If you just watch and understand that it is a market that is an extremely volatile market, but it still follows market patterns. Today it's $70,000. I wouldn't buy Bitcoin at $70,000, not at this point. There will come a day when 70000 will be a bargain, but for today, it's ascending. It's going to probably hit 80000 could hit 80000 in the next week or so. Then we'll see a precipitous drop. We'll see that stomach churning. Oh, my God, all the way. Then you buy some more. Goes up. Next time, it'll go up to 90000 You sell some. Save the dollars. Put it in a stable coin, do whatever you're going to do with it. Then when it drops 20% again, buy some more. You just ride it, stair-stepping up. Each time we have that volatility, you can increase your Bitcoin holdings. 
So it's not a matter of whether Bitcoin is still going to be around because it is going to be the store value, the unit of exchange between corporations and countries and large organizations. So it's still going to be there. It's still going to be volatile and you can use the volatility to your advantage. And once you finally accept that and understand it, I know someone last week that had heard from his uh, technical analyst, analyst that may or may not have been named Martin Hibbs, that he, he felt that Bitcoin was going to drop for a, a day or two down to about 61,500, 400. So somebody put some buy orders in for a couple Bitcoins at 61.5 got filled. It was only down for a day, less than a day. Now it's back up to 70. That was a good move. That's the kind of thing you want to do. And it's possible to do without. It's not that hard. Once you learn the basics, it's really not that hard. All right. Back to the beach. Let's go watch the Eva birds. Aloha.